in a universe and two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's a, there's a like there's a there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a f effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice. Right. You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point. The universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go Ooh, around yeah. stuff. Did it on your own. I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm impressed. Making moves, next change. Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Him and you're watching Fashion Room. Today I'm going to try a different way to inspire you guys and motivate you guys and hope you guys like this idea too so today i'm gonna be compiling couple of stories of couple of celebrities because today's topic is act as if so today's topic is act as if a way a way of motivating yourself and a way of keeping yourself inspired and this is why i'm here without further ado the first story that i want to start with is the story of mariano Rivera. Mariano Rivera is a baseball pitcher. He's one of the best. He played for the New York Yankees. And I saw this clip of him. Okay. Fabio Ojeda. You have yeah. the glove now? It's, it's like this. The, uh, the top part is like, it's like when you put the glove. Is this is your glove right here. Put the ball in there? That was my glove. And we finish. Put it like this. No waste. Put it in my butt pocket. Because you need that glove again oh, tomorrow. Oh, I'm telling you. I always need this glove. And it's safe. It's, uh, it's not expensive. I mean, I, I couldn't go no glove. You know, my father was saying, I mean, it was a lot of things to take care of before a glove in a bag. So, you know, I made my own glove. And I was happy with this thing, though. I need to start with this particular story just to tell you guys that you do not need to have money to act as if to get the money if you get what i mean if your goal is to become a powerful businessman for example you don't need thousand and thousand and thousand to wear a suit every day to act as if you are already a ceo of a company you do not need to do that you can get creative and that's where creation comes in very handy you just get creative with your mind and you can have like you can sew it yourself you can get really creative and when that success will actually happen you'll be very proud of yourself because you actually realize that now that you have you have done all of that and yeah now you can just buy your own suit because you have the money the thing is I got this from reading The Secret and I'm going to post it what it looks like here and I'm going to link down the video in the comment down below. And also uh, finding out a lot about the power of now and the law of attraction. So basically how this works is you want something, you already, you already want it, you ask for it, you let it go. And then you act as if. Acting as if is you're grateful, you act for it, you're grateful for what you already have, and you let it go and you act as if. And basically, you're working like a CEO of a company that you want to be, and you act as if. And this brings me to, to my, this brings me to, the second the second the second story which is of why do I forget his name? Obviously you knew obviously you knew somewhere inside yourself that you were destined to be famous because I think it's a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Do mm -hmm. y'all do y'all read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night and visualize seeing yourself as yeah, I would visualize, uh, yeah, I would this visualize- This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, 
saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and didn't I you... had nothing at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. OK, and so you would get this from what, self-help books or whatever? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. self-help section. Self-help section. They've renamed it the Jim Carrey <laughs> wing. <laughs> So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered. And I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there. And it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and, uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make Ten million dollars on, I think it was, Dumb and Dumber, maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Yeah. So you visualize yourself like. Yeah, yeah. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then you know go eat a sandwich. <laughs> I love that. So as you can see in his story, he was talking to Oprah about acting as if he even wrote, went as far as writing a check to himself about what, how much he wanted to get on his first acting job or his first big break, how much he wanted to be able to make, how much he wanted to get. And he kept it and that was a way of motivation for him. That's why I'm talking to you guys about acting as if. You have to dress up the part, you have to act the part. It's really important to act the part because if you don't act as if you already have it, it cannot come to you because you're acting like you don't have it. It's already yours, whatever you want. It's already yours. But anyways, this also brings me to... This also brings me to Steve Harvey's story. Molly came home and she said, Slick, which was my daddy's nickname, your boy been up at the school being a smart aleck. Now I already know I'm gonna get a whipping for this. She said, uh, tell him what you wrote on your paper. And I said, I wanna be on TV. And my father said, well, what's wrong with that? And she said, well, he being a smart aleck and putting something like that that's unbelievable on the paper. So my father said, Bill, how come the boy can't put on the paper he wanna be on TV? So they were starting to get into an argument, so I got sent to my room, which I knew what that meant. That means go in your room, get ready. We're going to get this whooping, right? So I go in my room, and after having a discussion, my father came in the room. He said, all right, this is what I want you to do. What does she want you to put on your paper? I said, I don't know, Daddy, like a basketball player. What all the rest of the kids wrote? He said, well, put that on the paper. Take that to school tomorrow and give it to her. Take your paper and put it in your drawer. Every morning when you get up, read your paper. And every night before you go to bed, read your paper. That's your paper. What he told me was a principle of success, that if you write it down and envision it, anything you see in your mind, you can hold in your hand. He knew that. Leaving you, I know whatever you want, you already have it. So it's you, it's you. That is breaking it. So you just have to act as if. For example, my sister wants to be a doctor, and this is a great example. So she's always like, when I'm saying, she's always like, oh my God, I'm a doctor. Let me see what's wrong with you. She keeps attracting that to herself. Like, you just have to act as if your dream is already yours. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today, this special motivation video, because. You guys have enough tools right now on my channel. There's a lot of different things, but I wanted to add this particular one within the mix. So when I bring out other videos about certain things, you guys need to know that while being on this journey of growth within yourself, you also have to act like you're already grown and you're already there at the same time. Because don't get it confused, it's all, it's all important, it's all good to be all of those things I've been talking to on my channel. But if you don't, don't act as if you already have it. There's an important phrase we use here. I think it's time you all learned it. <clears throat> act as if. Do you understand what that means? 
Act as if you are the fucking president of this firm. Act as if you got a nine inch cock, okay? Act as if. Yeah, that's it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little talk of type of motivation. I feel like I think as if is a really good motivational and inspiration for an everyday life, which I obviously do. So I want y'all to do the same thing. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, comment if you're like what are you talking about or we've already seen it a lot of people maybe those you can tell me that also I know but I'm just doing this for my people and I love you guys so much and I've been seeing new subscribers hey people welcome to fashion I hope you guys will stay with me and ask your friend to come to and put my mind on it, then I put my grind on it. Put the iron on them if a nigga my opponent. My code 500 on, put no miles on it. I was running wild, homie, with 500 thou on me.